Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. It's iPhone launch day and I have the iPhone 15 Pro Max in natural titanium that I'll be unboxing and giving my first impressions of the device. I went to the Apple store this morning, I pre-ordered it, and I was in and out of the store pretty quickly, skipped a bunch of people in line. I'm so excited to unbox this, so let's just get right into it. We'll go over some of the big things like the action button, USB-C, titanium, and all the look and feel and stuff like that. So you have a pretty standard box, it says iPhone, got the Apple logo here, iPhone on the side. I also have some accessories that we're gonna try on with it and take a look at those as well. All right, let's unbox it. And so it has two seals here, it says iPhone 15 Pro Max. And the box is open. Go ahead and do that and we'll take it off. Oh, wow. Natural titanium looks really good. Really good. Whoa. I think it looks incredible. I did not expect it to look this good. I mean, it looked good online, of course. I tried to avoid looking at just people's posts about it. I know a lot of people, reviewers, get them early. And I've just tried to stay away from looking. But in person, it really does look like the Apple Watch Ultra's titanium, which it should. It's natural titanium. But man, it looks really, really good. Before we get into taking off the seal, we do have the USB-C braided cable. Not color matching. That's okay though, I don't really care. I'm gonna use MagSafe most likely, but it is good that we have a USB-C cable. You have designed in California, just some little things, you know, about eSIM setup, a sticker, and some more instructions. But we don't really need to go into that. And let's take off the seal. Oh man. So yeah, it is pretty light. I'm not used to the Pro Max, so I don't really know what that felt like. The iPhone 14 Pro never really felt very heavy to me, but it has these like kind of contoured edges and they look really good. Let's go over just the outside really quick. Obviously the camera kind of looks the same as last year. You have your power on switch right here, volume up and down, and the new action button, which it's kind of weird to not see the mute switch. It's definitely odd, but man, those contour edges are incredible. The device looks great. I mean, look at natural titanium, it just looks, Looks beautiful, look at that. And yep, I mean, fingerprints, they don't look like they're really sticking like the stainless steel on the previous version, but I think it's this color. So I'm glad I went with natural titanium for that. Let's turn on the device. Let's put in the USB-C cable. I have a USB-C port in my desk that we can do. And goodbye, lightning. We don't need you anymore. Thank you. And we'll go ahead and put in USB-C. And yep, charging. Pretty cool. Like that. It's just a cord. We'll use MagSafe most likely. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and choose and set up our device. I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly. All right, so while we're going through the setup, we already tested USB-C. Let's go ahead and put on some other accessories. So we have the fine woven MagSafe wallet, and I've actually been using it for a week already, and it looks pretty good with this color. I have it in the taupe color, taupe. I said it right this time. It's only been a week, and there's a lot of scratches and smudges and stuff like that. So we're gonna have to keep an eye on that for long-term use. We also have the clay color for the silicone case. I think it probably is my favorite color to go with the natural titanium. I think it looks pretty good. 
And we also have the evergreen fine woven case that I will be doing a lot of testing on to see how good it is. And I think that looks pretty good as well. I like to test cases. This phone in particular though, I do want to rock caseless because it is so beautiful. But if you want to check out more details about those cases that I'm talking about right now, check out this video. I'll put it up there. All right, so I'm setting up the device and we actually get to a new screen. It's called silent mode. You can toggle silent mode on and off or check its status in control center. But then if you hit continue, you get action button. And this is a new button. It's replacing the mute switch. It says you can press and hold to turn on silent mode on and off, or you can customize some sort of action that you want instead of just, you know, silent mode. So let's customize it. I want to see what happens. That's a really cool animation. So you have silent mode, focus, camera, flashlight, voice memo, magnifier, shortcut, and accessibility. Oh, and then no action. So you can just click it and do nothing. I'm definitely going to play around with this. I think it's pretty cool to, you know, change it to a focus when you're in a meeting. You can just change it, set up your device in a way that it would silent everything anyways. I also do like the fact that you can do shortcuts. I definitely want to explore that more, but for now I'm going to select silent mode and I expect Apple in the future to add more to this action button. And I've set up the phone and it's going to take some time for me to get used to the Pro Max size. This is the first time I've ever gone Pro Max. I was really interested in the camera this year as well as a better battery life because the 14 Pro's battery just didn't cut it for me. I also am noticing now just with the screen on how thin the bezels look and obviously they're not much thinner than last year in terms of like what your eye can see. Just using the iPhone 14 Pro daily, I can notice a difference with this. It looks incredible. Like the display is beautiful. It's, it's really large, but it's lighter in hand. Uh, it feels more comfortable with those contour edges, especially like right here. It used to be a little bit sharper um, and it just feels really nicely conformed to the hand. Um, I will play around with the camera more. I'm not going to do any camera testing in this one. So definitely sub to the channel for longer term reviews. I like to give like a one week later, one month later, six month later kind of review. So definitely sub for that. Well, that's my reaction and first impressions. And already I love this phone. It's obvious. I love iPhone. I love Apple. You guys know that. I am impressed with the design of the phone. I love the natural titanium and I'm really glad I got that color this year. Obviously haven't been able to test everything out. Something that is really good that is the way this phone feels with those contour edges. I mean, I've mentioned that already a few times. It's great. Again, fingerprints, okay, it can be wiped pretty easily. And just compared to the Ultra in terms of color, it looks pretty much the same. It's a brushed look, but it feels smooth. Like, it's super nice, super smooth. I absolutely love this phone already. You got Dynamic Island, USB-C. I'm excited for the battery life. So yeah, guys, make sure to give a sub to the channel for all the reviews that I plan on doing. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless, and I will see you on the next video.